building with Papa. Like, subscribe, and ring that bell. Well, this light is in my daughter's kitchen, but her table is up against the wall. And she wants to put a light over the table. So what we're going to do is we're gonna remove this light that's in the ceiling, run wire over, but first we have to center the table. So I put my laser in the center of the table, transfer it so it hits the ceiling, and I measured the table, and I used half that measurement to come across from the wall out and made a mark in the ceiling. That's where the center of her light is going to be. So we removed the light, and now we make a hole where the center is. And now we're going to try to run a wire from this box over to this hole we made where it's going to be the center of the light. Okay, we ran the wire, we had a little difficulty. There was a piece of wood in between there. So we cut another hole and was able to bring the wire through. Now we tie the electrical wire to that wire, twist it and then tape it. So it makes it more smooth and it'll be easier to run it. Derek is pulling it from the one end, I'm pushing from the other and we'll bring it all the way through to come out near the box. All right, one, two, three, there it is, okay. Now, I cut the wire back and there is a hole in the box and I was able to use my pliers and get it through the hole in the box. I cut the wires and stripped them, have them ready, but I don't hook them up to the power yet. I wanna get everything done in the lights first. So I take the center part of the light, I found some wood to screw to, and I screwed it to the wood and the other ones you can see I put them in on an angle with coarse screws and they grab very well. All right, we put the light up there, just held it and the cords are very long. So they loop them inside with a little device. It's just plastic, but it holds the wire from going down any further. But first there's this screw. We loosen the screw and we had determined that we wanted the light to hang about 20 and a half inches below that, that base. So we pull the wire through and we use the tape measure so that we were able to get each one to be about 20 and a half inches. There was a lot of extra wire, so I cut it because we would not have been able to hide it behind the fixture between the two pieces. So I shortened them, but still left enough to where if we wanted to change it a few inches either way, it wouldn't be a problem. Be careful when you do this, get everything tied properly together, get your wire nuts on, and um, put black tape over them because they're gonna be tight to the metal. All right, so you can see we have it somewhat hung right now. What I did is I tied the ground wire first, made sure it was strong, and it was able to hold it up while I get the wires behind this base piece and then get it tight to the ceiling. All right, we put the globes on, the bulbs in, and we lit it up. All right, it's really, really looking good. I am really like this project. Uh, it really helped that table in the area that it's in. My daughter picked this out. She did an awesome job. Look at this. It looks amazing. All right, I hope you like this video. And I'll see you on the next one. Give me a thumbs up. Say something. Make a comment. Wouldn't this light look beautiful in your home? All right, goodbye.